Hello. So happy switch up Saturday. However, it is not switch up Saturday. <laughs> it is actually Friday night, Friday late afternoon, four o'clock. And I'm filming this in advance because I'm taking out my niece tomorrow to go back to school shopping. And I didn't want to skip switch up Saturday. So I thought I would do all this in advance. And I look a mess. I, ha I didn't have a good week. I'll, let's, I'll just be blunt. Didn't have a good week this week. And um, didn't feel so great. Um, just got back from the doctor's office. And it was just a, a typical checkup. But my blood pressure is not good right now. So I need to, need to work on that. Yeah. So anyway, it was not a good week. But... Let's see if the week will get better. At the very least, I'm told that the weather is supposed to get milder. It's It was pretty warm today. I think it's 88 today, so not too bad. But um, warm enough that this has stayed. These are the nails. These have stayed in this color all day today. Reminder, this is what it's cold state looks like. And yesterday, actually, the house was relatively cold that it they were very gradient and very pretty I wish I would have taken um a picture so you can see th when they're gradient they're it's really really pretty so I'm really um quite a fan of of this so anyway um what else oh I gotta give you an update on the fragrance revival um thing so they had said they were going to make me a new bottle and send it out and let me show you what arrived. This, this note and this jar in this box and in this jar is liquid. It wasn't packaged with anything it's not sealed. It, it literally could have exploded. Um, not taped shut. In fact, there's some liquid on the outside there. So maybe it has been dripping. Um, it smells a little bit better. It still smells like pine saw or something. So they, it's not, it's not sweet, but um, it smells about like the one I got from European perfumes. That's what it totally smells like. It smells like a cleaning product. So, I mean, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm just done. I'm, and so they, that's crap. So I'm gonna. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. So I'll probably cut out most of this because I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm that that limited about it. So I, I, I will 100% say don't ever buy from this company. Um, at least in my opinion. So maybe with a more, you know, mass produced item, but no, I'm not even gonna say that. So no, I, I wouldn't, I was your guinea pig. I shoved my money there. I would not, I would not encourage, but anywho. Um, so like I mentioned, I'm going to be taking my niece out shopping tomorrow. So we're just going to pop over and, um, pick out the fragrances for the week. I think I'm going to, I think I know what bag I'm going to grab for the week, but I might change my mind. Um, because we're going shopping, that bag may not make sense. So, um, I'm kind of, we'll, we'll see. Um, go take the nail polish off and decide where I'm going. I had the best time, like I said, with the, the color changing though. So that was really good. I'm in my glasses today, which you know, probably never see me in. I don't think I ever have been in my glasses, um, on this channel, but because I am so, um, not myself right now, I completely forgot to schedule my eye exam and my prescriptions expired. So I'm down to just a few contacts left and I can't get into an eye exam until September 27th. So 
that's a while. And then of course it takes a couple weeks for the prescriptions to come in. I wear daily contacts. So I'm trying to only use contacts when um, absolutely necessary. So this is not fun. It actually gives me more headaches when I have to wear my glasses. So, and I don't like to drive in my um, glasses either. So it kind of keeps me around the house. So anywho, I will quit my uh -uh, and we will get over to what matters. We had a good week with the um, selections as we will call it. And hopefully what I pick out for this week will be good. And then at the end, I will wrap up. We will paint the nails again and we will do all the things and I will um, come back and talk at the end. The best part about this time of the afternoon is the lighting is great in this room. Actually, it's pretty much great as soon as it hits 10 a.m. or so and then it's like all good. So anywho, um, so this was the tray of the week. Tom Ford, Atea Cologne, Milfew, um, Caroline Herrera, the Hermes, which wraps up the Hermes journey this week <laughs> of fragrances. Um, so let's see. I really enjoyed my Soleil Neige. I actually wore this on two days. I did just the um, perfume and then I did just the um, body spray on one day. Um, wore this one day, did this one one day. I wore this today and I believe I also did this on Saturday. I'm trying to remember. I know I wore this twice. So this I put on and I, I like it. I like it better than I did when I first opened it, but I can't say that I'm still any more impressed by it. So it's fine. It's just not anything I'm going to gravitate towards. And I don't ever foresee myself buying a full size of it. I think it was more the novelty of the bottle. I think it's incredibly cute. I just don't, I'm not particularly fond of, I am very fond of the Hermes, um, Sir La Lagoon, um, fragrance. In fact, I think I am more fond of it now than I was when I first tested it. It does have a slight astringent, um, opening when I first put it on. So that was a little strong, like an overly alcohol kind of smell. It dissipates very quickly, but when I, it, that first open is like, woo, that, that's sharp, but then it's fine. It's clean and crisp and, and it's a nice, it's a nice scent. So I do like this one. I can't say it's my very, very favorite out of the entire collection, but I do like it. Um, I, I don't mind it. So, and of course this is my all time favorite. I am on a journey to find some backups however I can. So I'm on eBay looking and seeing what I can pick up um, to make this last. So let's pick out some new fragrances. Okay. I went a little bit eclectic this week. I am kind of all over the place. I know I've got some spiciness happening here. There's pink pepper here. Um... This one's a little bit spicy. I'm trying to remember all the notes in this one. I'll flash them up on the screen. So this is the trend number 10 by House of Siage. Um, haven't worn this in a while. So this one just, I don't know, just kind of spoke to me. Um, grabbed the Kayali white flower again. Just kind of felt, no, not white flower. I bought a uh, vanilla cocoa. Beachy summer came in my head that brought me over to vanilla vibes, wanted a vanilla on there. And then I looked over and saw that I had two of these samples. I have two of these mini jars. Actually, I think I have three of those mini jars. And I thought, I don't think I've ever worn Udipasan. Ispahan. Ispahan. So that one I need to bring out and try it out and see if it's worth having. I wonder how I got so many bottles of it. So yeah, got to try that out. So this is the tray of the week. Um, tried and true, love her, uh, love her. Pretty much, you know, it just will wear anything vanilla. And like I said, I haven't worn this in forever. 
one to try out. So we'll see how this works out for the week. The tray of the week. Is it incredibly cozy down there? There's nothing that's distracting them at all. Unless I say the words, is it time for dinners? It didn't work. Are we ready for food? stirring. Ready to go get the dinners? Go get the foods? Pickles is completely out. She just wants to, oh, she's up. Oh, oh. <laughs> did, did I say the words? Yeah, Dolly's soft, huh? She's a good blanket. I'm sorry, a good pillow. Is it a good pillow? Uh -huh. She says no. Okay, so I really enjoyed the color changing, but I think I want to give that collection a break because I have I, I need to spread out, spread the love, wear something that is in the collection. And since we're going school shopping, I almost want to do something kind of fall like I mean do I go green it just seems like a fun kind of tone oh no I think I do I think I want to go green green with a top coat going that way. I think that would be kind of fun. This is, I can't read, bring me the teal and Polar Princess. Okay, my friends, I really enjoyed carrying um, my Transatlantique. I know that some folks are not a fan of its extra wide. <laughs> I did not find, I find that it like it closes up on itself really well. So even like when you think it's going to fall over it, you know, it kept its stuff in there pretty well. Um, I mean, I've got all my junk in there, but it, it seemed to do really well. So I enjoyed carrying it again. If it had a crossbody strap, I'd probably, or at least a shoulder strap, I probably would have enjoyed it more when I was out shopping, but I, it was still fine in the crook of my arm. Um, if you watched my vlog this week, I went to TJ Maxx and picked up this little bad boy for 26 bucks. Still don't know if I'm going to keep it, but it was you know, kind of the vibes for the, you know, possible beach trip I may take around Labor Day. We'll see. Um, anyway, we're gonna get out of this one, put it away and find a bag that will work for shopping. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to carry the uniform bag from Reed Creek Off. I need to do some, work on it it's dirty and it has some other kind of like rust spots and things on it but i'm also like i only spent like 50 bucks on it so why bother and it's not as big as i thought at first that it would be too overwhelming for this week what i am concerned about i'm gonna lay that down is the strap that comes with it is really short like, you know, it's a shoulder strap, but I have something else that might work. So let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay. 
I have this strap from Amazon. It's a really thin crossbody, but it's in the same metal. And I think it may work out. Oh, darn. Yeah, I just broke it. Darn it. Do I have another one? That will work. Maybe I'll grab my one from the Cass. Yeah, the Cassie might work. Or I think I might have one from a burrow bag that might work. But I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and carry it and I'll leave that on there. It is quite spacious. It's got two slip pockets. I don't know if you can even see anything that I'm doing here. Yeah, you can. Two slip pockets here, a zip pocket here. Uh, what is that? There's something in it. Oh, a bunch of... Read stuff, like a little care booklet and things. Okay, well, it came with everything. That's nice. Awesome. So I'm gonna pack it back up. Oh, and oh, out here it has a little like card, like ticket thing, and then a little pocket right there. And it has pockets on the side, a zip pocket in the front. So it's got plenty of room. I'm gonna pack it up and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave this here at home because that one's not gonna work. Wow, it is a puddle. That is a puddle of a back. I'm not sure how it's gonna work for the week. I really wanna make it work, but I don't think it's gonna work for the week. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And this is my go-to bag. Pretty much, somebody asked me what like, my go-to bag is when I'm just like running around or doing whatever. Whenever I have a dilemma, I'm like, I need something. I need to run out of the house. Oh my God. This is the bag I grab 90% of the time if it's not a wallet on chain. I grab the Alma. It's always on my shelf behind me when I'm filming my normal videos. And it's just my go-to bag. It carries everything I need. I've got both sets of sunglasses in there. Everything is in there except for my phone because I'm on it right now, but the phone will fit in there. I've got this strap that I utilize um, that comes on right here to make it a crossbody. I'll throw that in as well. I like to carry it as top handle. Um, I mean, she's beat up. She's used old, ancient water spots. If it was raining, I wouldn't care. You know, it's just my trouble free bag. The handles are used up as all get out, which is why I've got um, bandos wrapped around it all the time and they need to be tied way better. But this is my go-to bag whenever I need something and I don't know what. So that is going to be the bag of the week. I will love her as I always do. This again is the PM size, not the BB. I think I said BB. PM size, love it. If I could have one in Damier Ben, I would be ecstatic. Um, I would even get like the GM. I'm, I'm that enamored with the Alma, but this is the bag of the week. Good evening. Well, you don't know what time it is, do you? <laughs> it is evening. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Friday night. So I'm going to get editing this video so y'all can see it pretty early tomorrow. Um, what I decided to do is only do um, half my manicure. So there is no topper this is the topper so i'll do it like that so that's what it looks like before after i will finish this this in the morning because at this point if i do it i'm gonna have like bed sheet markings um anyway so that was this week and the bag that i'll be carrying for the next week thankfully it will be cooler um, well, at least for part of the week, I've heard. I mean, it keeps changing. Like, every time I look at the weather forecast, it was supposed to be 70s all week. And now it's like 70s for two days and then back to the 80s. And it just keeps changing because it's summertime in Oregon. We can't have nice things. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just, I'm, I'm willing the pumpkin spice to come on. I'm willing fall to come on. It, 
you know, for all y'all that love summer, I'm, I'm not a summer girl. I'm a winter, fall, winter, Christmas is my season kind of person. So that's, I'm looking longingly into what's to come and it will, it will be here before we know it. I hope you have a great next week. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you.